Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a quick video. There's been a lot of talk about Backlash and with some of the prints that I've been getting that seems to be the uh, primary cause of the layer shifting issues I think. I know I saw one guy on the forum, he put a really huge nut on the uh, extruder and said that he was getting perfectly fine prints after that. And I've had quite a few failed prints. I tried printing this rocket uh, that I posted in another video, uh, Rocket Bunny, a Rocket and Bunny. And this part came out just fine, but I wanted to kind of look into the backlash issues because then you have prints like this that didn't come out too bad and then others are having really bad luck so I set up a dial indicator and if I reach down here and this is just for the motor nothing with the arms so what I'm doing is I'm rocking the motor and it's not on zero let's see if I can get it So, it's a thousandths off of zero, so if I lift up, we get about three to four thousandths play. And this is going to be on the front right motor. And it varies too, because I'm, I'm almost getting four thousandths there. And then if I do the rear motor, it's try not to move it this one's pretty sensitive you know I'm getting about four to five and I'm not trying to reef on it or anything you know but on the front left motor I'm getting a, uh, a hundredths and backlash, maybe even uh, one or point oh one two, and I'm pretty sure if I move this around to the back side, that it'll it'll probably adjust accordingly. there's nothing precision about this. I have a set of ammo cans so that I could do this because I don't have any big chunks of metal laying around. Or not steel anyways. And then it's rather difficult to get in the Tico to do the test. But uh so I'm going to do the front right motor, and this is when it's upright facing you. And I'm getting about three, three thou. The rear motor, oh. so then the rear motor is getting almost four to five. And then we'll do this front, front right motor, if I can get to it. And that one still, uh, it's getting nine, nine thou right there. And even, uh, well that's interesting. So, I think this is the biggest cause of the layer shifting issues. I'm going to power it on and then I'll have to manually move it back up, but um, that's if it doesn't freak out because I have the motors up. Obviously power is on, so we'll just do this rear because we're getting 9 thou of play on the... Uh, 
on that. It'll be the front and left motor if you're sitting upright. That's probably about as good as it's going to get. And I just wanted to see if there was a difference. Whoops. The difference under power or not. So, under power, I'm getting 2,000 when pulling up, and then I'm actually getting a 1,000. Uh, when pulling back, so if we can bump this just to make it easy. So now, under power, I'm getting 7 thou, and then 1 thou when pushing back down. And I'm not moving it on the gear, like pushing the gear, this is just backlash within the motor. And hopefully, you can see that. Because it's a pretty noticeable amount of movement. So then, if we started, so we're getting, so we're getting about 5 thou. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the actual movement itself. Let's see if I can do this while holding, holding the camera and everything. But so if we do that, it's about. Yeah, it's still about nine thou. If we go from the uh, minus w minus one thou, so I think it might be a better option if they can uh, either add backlash compensation. And if I pull up, not moving the motor, I can get almost fifteen or yeah, fifteen. So I thought that was interesting. And it could be what's accounting for such poor quality prints. And then I noticed that my uh, rear Bowden arm is, um, or my rear arm back here has a bow in it again. And I'm gonna have, I have spare arms, but it's kind of, I shouldn't have to be changing them out, so... I'll have to look into that, maybe try to figure out something to get the backlash um, out. The carriages themselves have backlash also. I don't know how easy. not that much but it's definitely noticeable so I'm thinking about trying to come up with a some sort of screw clamp to kind of clamp them tighter so that we don't get that lateral movement um, it might be worthwhile just to take them off and see what's going on under there but anyways uh, I thought you guys would like to see that thanks for watching